Now let us see the eighth problem of this uh, exercise 9.1. What is given? A statue of 1.5 meter, 1.6 meter tall standing on this pedestal. Pedestal that is on the ground. And the angle of elevation of the step of statue that is that in this point A is 60 degree and from the same point angle of elevation of top of the pedestal that is angle of elevation of the pedestal that is 45 degree. Let us then let us see the height of pedestal is x meter. So this total height total height become 1.6 meter plus x meter that become 1.6 meter plus x meter. Now this is the condition. This is the x meter. We have taken x meter. We have it. There takes h meter. So we will find x for h. X for h. Now in this triangle, in this triangle, tan 45 equal to 1. So tan 45 equal to 1. So tan 45. Tan 45. In which triangle? In triangle. Tan 45 in triangle. UDC in triangle BDC tan 45 that is equal to BC by DC BC by DC BC X and DC we don't know but tan 45 equal to 1 so BC equal to BC equal to X meter BC equal to X meter let us say 1 let us say this is this is 1 so this uh, BC and this uh, height of this pedestal, pedestal that is the base of the statue that is same, this BC and this same. Now in this triangle ADC, in triangle ACD, in triangle ADC, tan 60, tan 60 that is equal to AC by DC, AC by DC. AC equal to X plus 1.6 and DC we have already calculated that is X but tan 30 that is equal to root 3 so root 3 equal to X plus 1.6 divided by X if you do cross multiplication then X into root 3 that is X plus uh, 1.6 so X root 3 minus X that is equal to 1.6 meter if you take x, x common, then it is root 3 minus 1, x equal to 1.6. So it implies x equal to 1.6 divided by root 3 minus 1. If you want to rationalize, then it is root 3 plus 1, root 3 plus 1, you have to multiply. Then it gives 1.6, 1 plus root 3 divided by a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b square means root 3 square 3 minus 1 that is 1.6 divided by 2 into 1 plus root 3 that is equal to 0 0.8 1.6 divided by 2.8 1 plus root 3 meter that is what say what is say x but what is what is asked what is asked what is the height of the height of what is the height of the pedestal that is height of the pedestal height of pedestal height of a pedestal height of pedestal that is equal to x that is equal to 0.8 into 1 plus root 3 meter if the root 3 value is given then we can find the exact value of value of height of the pedestal. Now let us see what is given in the problem number 10. Two poles of equal heights. Let us say these two poles are equal heights. A B equal to CD. A B equal to C D of equal heights are standing opposite to each other on the either side of road. This is what say width of road. This is, this is width of road that is 80 meter wide road is given. 80 meter wide road. From a point between this between them on the road 
angle of elevation of top of poles are 60 degree and 30 degree. Now the let us say this point E. If we observe this top of pole here, E is further because angle of elevation here is 30 degree and it is closer to this pole that this angle is 60 degree and find the height of pole and distance distance of this point from the poles. So we have to find x, 80 minus x and height of the pole. So situation like this, this height of the pole, height of pole, let us say this height of pole is x meter and this is x meter, then this is 80 minus x meter. So that total distance of between this uh, uh, poles is 80 meter. Now what we do, what we do, first of all, first of all use this uh, triangle use this triangle or we can use this triangle also in this triangle tan 30 tan 30 which triangle in triangle in triangle uh, d c e in triangle d c e tan 30 that is equal to h by x that is equal to d c by d c by e c d c by c e this is by c that is equal to x by x plus but but you know that tan 30 that is equal to 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 if you do cross multiplication then we get x equal to root 3 root 3 into h let us say this one so this x equal to we can replace this x equal to root 3 into h root 3 into h now we can apply trigonometric function of tan because the tan, tan consists of this h and 80 minus x. So we can apply tan 60 over here in triangle, in triangle ABE, ABE, tan 60, tan 60 that is equal to tan 60 equal to AB upon EB, AB upon EB, AB that is equal to h because height of this pole are same and EB that is equal to 80 minus X but X can be replaced by X can be replaced by X can be replaced by root 3 H so this tan 60 tan 60 is equal to root 3 so if you do cross multiplication if you do cross multiplication this H equal to 83 80 minus X into root 3 but we can replace this x by x by root 3 h x by root 3 h then it is 80 minus 80 minus the 80 minus this uh, uh, root 3 this is what say root 3 h root 3 h into root 3 then this become 80 into root 3 minus root 3 into root 3 h that is equal to h so if we transpose this then this h plus 3 h equal to 80 root 3 so h 4 h equal to 3 h plus h 4 h equal to 80 root 3 so h equal to 80 root 3 by 4 that is equal to h equal to 20 root 3 h equal to 20 root 3 h equal to 20 root 3 means height of poles height of pole height of, height of poles height of each pole height of each pole equal to 20 to root 3 meter 20 root 3 meter height of each pole is 20 root 3 meter that is what's the answer and we want the distance between this distance between the distance between the, this pole and this point and this pole and this point for that we have to find the x x equal to root 3 into h root 3 into h is 20 root 3 so it is 20 into root 3 into root 3 that is 20 into 3 and that is equal to 60 meter 60 meter so this is what say that this is what says 60 meter and this is 80 minus 80 minus 60 that is 20 meter so CE implies implies CE 
distance between this pole and point of observation that is equal to x that is equal to 60 meter and be that is equal to 80 minus x that is 80 minus 60 that is equal to 20 meter so this point is 20 meter from this pole and this point is this point is 20 meter uh, 60 meter from another pole so these are the two answers what are height of pole height of pole height of each pole height of each pole that is equal to 20 root 3 meter height of each pole is 20 root 3 meter and this distance between distance between this part of observation and each pole is each pole is 20 meter point of each pole and what is the second ask, ask question as the position of point at distance of 60 meter from pole CD so one pole one pole is 60 meter and another another 20 meter from the point of observation point of observation so this, this is the this is the what say problem number problem number 10 of this exercise now what is given in the 11 problem that tower this tower is stand vertically on the bank of bank of canal let us see the canal is there and this tower is tower is like a located on the bank of tower bank of uh, bank of uh, canal and a person observe from the another another corner means and from the point on the other bank directly means here is one bank one border of the uh, uh, canal and this is another border means this is the width of the this is exit the width of the uh, canal and from this point the angle of elevation of this tower is 60 degree now from another point uh, 20 meter away from this point suppose this person moves away from this uh, tower and moves to 20 meter and observe again then angle of elevation from front to be the, of the top of the tower is found to be 30 degree so this is the length of width of the uh, width of the canal and this is additional distance so there are two triangles for this this is 20 plus x that is what say a b say this is point is c uh, c or this point say d so this uh, a b and d this bd distance this is x bc bc equal to x meter is width of canal width of canal and this angle uh, 60 degree and uh, uh, h is height of tower h is height of tower h meter is height of tower height of tower so this information is given now from this equation what we find first of all let us take this triangle in this triangle in triangle ABC ABC tan 60 degree tan 60 that is equal to AB opposite side by BC AB that is H and X but tan 60 you know that tan 60 is root 3 so it implies H equal to root 3 into x meter this is equation number one equation number one this is uh, tan 60 tan 60 equal to root 3 ab upon ab upon bc the tan 60 that is equal to root 3 into x what is what is root 3 into x now in uh, this uh, second problem second triangle in triangle a b d tan 30 tan 30 equal to h h means ab by bd that is equal to tan t plus x but you know that tan 30 equal to root 3 it implies 20 plus x equal to root 3 into h but but h you know that h equal to h equal to root 3 
root 3x so root 3 into root 3x root 3 into root 3x that is equal to 3x 3x equal to 20 plus x and ply is 3x 3x minus x that is equal to 2x 3x minus x that is equal to 20 so 2x equal to 20 so x equal to 20 divided by 2 that is equal to 10 meter 10 meter is the width of canal 10 meter is the width of canal now what is about the height of canal that 20, 10 meter is the width of canal so x that is equal to 10 meter width of canal width of canal now height of tower height of tower height of a tower that is equal to h that is equal to root 3x root 3x means root 3 x is equal to 10 means it is 10 root 3 meter 10 root 3 meter if root 3 value is given then easily we can find 10 into root 3 if it is 1.73 then it is 17.3 if it is 17.3 uh, 1.732 given then 17.32 meter this height of tower that is equal to this so width of canal is 10 meter and height of tower is uh, 10 to 3 meter that that is the answer that is the answer of this question number 11